you know, I'm just really proud of our team. I think we're resilient the whole game. When you have one of the best post players come in, and you have one of our post players coming into a role starting, and she plays like that, you know, um, I commend her. I know it's a career high for her, so I was really, really happy for her because I think she's been a little up and down to the see. So to see her um, kind of shine tonight, that was good for our team. But it was good for everybody, you know. I think Izzy did a great job on Tina Charles, one of the best post players, averaging a double double, and we held her to 13 points. You know, so I think that that just shows a lot about, about our character. You know, I looked up at the score with four minutes left, and I'm like, okay, let's see what we do. You know, because a lot of the time we've been falling down um, at, the, at the end of the game the last four minutes, and I was really proud. I think we rebounded well. We did the things we were supposed to do on both ends of the floor. So it was just a really good team win. I think we had 23 assists on 33 baskets. Um, so all those things, like that's how we have to play in order to win. What was different that maybe <coughs> this time in the fourth quarter compared to earlier this season? Was it just <laughs> well, thinking too much about it? Well, I think it? we finally learned from it. Uh, you know, I think um, – we, we had a little bit of confidence. <clears throat> Not everything went our way. You know, they made some shots, things like that. But I think at the end of the day, we stuck to our schemes. We stuck to the process, and um, it ended up falling in our way. Um, but like I said, I think it came down to our post players. You know, they tried to get the ball in towards the fourth quarter. I knew they were going to go to Tina, and I think Izzy and Kayla did a great job um, con containing her and then also scoring and putting the pressure on her on the other end. I guess the Phoenix game, you really kind of had it sort of in the fourth quarter, and I guess it was a kind of a carryover effect of that game to, to for you personally, maybe more so start to finish? Yeah, no, I, I think um, I was trying to just be mentally focused from the beginning to the end. I think uh, it's a really special place playing in the AT&T Center, especially in front of our fans. They can be 1,000 or 10,000, and I think it's just a really special place. But, um, you know, we want to do that for Coach Johnson, too. I know that's our old team. Um, so for him to come here for the first time since she's the head coach, right, first time. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was just really special for us to get a win.